Hello, Primary 5. Welcome to Agia Language School. I hope you are fine. Today, we're going to learn Unit 6, Lesson 3, Grammar, People's Book, page 69, and Workbook, pages 54 and 55. Now, the key structure is about defining relative clauses. So, what's the meaning of relative clauses? Let's see. The Greeks have built a horse. It is made of wood. So, we have here two sentences. The first, the Greeks have built a horse. This is sentence number one. Sentence number two, it is made of wood. These two sentences can be written as one sentence. How? By using which and that. The Greeks have built a horse which is made of wood. And the Greeks have built a horse that is made of wood. Which and that have the same meaning and the same use. Sentence number one, the Greeks have built a horse, which, which he refers to the horse. Sentence number two, also, the Greeks have built a horse that, that also refers to the horse. We use, these are relative pronouns, which and that. We use relative pronouns to relate two sentences. To write in write them in one sentence the horse will never escape we've captured it so here we have also two sentences the second sentence has extra information the horse will never escape What's the extra information? We've captured it. So, how can we write them in one sentence? This horse, that, that here refers to the horse. This horse that we've captured will never escape. So, we put, we put the, the extra information after that extra information in the second sentence this horse which we've captured will never escape as we said that and which have the same meaning and the same use another examples it is a book it will attract children of all ages how many sentences here two sentences it is a book and it will attract children of all ages I want to write the two sentences in one sentence. What will we say? We will say it's a book which will attract children of all ages. So which here refers to the book? Which refers to the book? It's a thing. Used which, uh, which is used for things and animals. Did you see the letter which came today? Which he refers to the letter. The letter is a thing. I love the puppy which is jumping at the kitchen. So puppy here is an animal. And which refers to the animal. The cup which is on the counter is mine. Which refers to the cup. What's the definition of the relative pronoun? The relative pronoun is a pronoun that heads an adjective clause. This is the clause. The dog that ate the cake is looking guilty. That here is a relative pronoun. It refers to the dog.
Number one, the sailors saw a monster. You will complete the sentences right and you will write the letters. The sailors saw a monster which had six heads. Which here refers to the monster. My aunt has got a parrot. My aunt has got a parrot which can talk. A parrot which here refers to the parrot. A parrot is an animal. Number three, Meg likes music, which she can dance to, which refers to the music. Number four, that's a kind of a car that Uncle Bob drives, that refers to the car. Which car that Uncle Bob drives? Number five, camels are animals. Which animals? That are found in the deserts. That here refers to animals. Number six, John has lost the watch that his grandfather gave him. So, that here in number six refers to the watch. Try to make one sentence. Example number one. The test was very hard. The test which we had last week was very hard. We had last week. This is extra information. We had last week. Number two. The trainers were expensive, which Sam bought. I want to make it in one sentence. So, I'll say the trainers, which Sam bought, were expensive, which here refers to the trainers. Number two, the cakes are always delicious. Which cakes? The cakes which grandma makes are always delicious. Number four, the wooden horse was huge that the Greeks built. When we make it one sentence, we will say the wooden horse that the Greeks built was huge. The monster had six heads that lived in the cave. That here refers to the monster. I want to put it after monster. The monster that lived in the cave had six heads. Number six. The snakes are not dangerous that live on this island. One sentence. The snakes that live on this island are not dangerous. Now, it's time for rewriting the following sentences using the words in brackets. Number one, the match was exciting. We watched it yesterday. Use which? We use which after the match. will be the match which we watched yesterday was exciting we watched it yesterday this is extra information number two this is the house I built it last year use that this is the house I built it last year it will be this is the house that I built last year. That refers to the house, which and that have the same meaning and have the same use. 
which and that refers to animals and things. Number three, the lesson was very easy. Which lesson? It was about reading. Use that. The lesson that was about reading was very easy. Number four, the tree is green. It is near my house. Use which? The tree, which tree? The tree which is near my house. The tree which is near my house is green. It's time for grammar in conversation. You will listen and read. It's a conversation between Sam and Molly. Have you seen any God films recently? Yes, I have. Have seen Journey and Space. Oh, wow. What's it like? Oh, it's such a good film. I really enjoyed it. Do you think I like it? Yes, it's brilliant. The story is wonderful and the actors are great. And the special effects, they're so incredible. Sounds amazing. It is. And there are such scary monsters. Really? Mm, maybe I'll give it to miss. Such. We had such terrible weather. We use such before the adjective and a noun. Again, after such, adjective and noun. Uncountable noun. We had such terrible weather. We also use such before the adjective and plural countable nouns. She said such nice things that we will over in tears. But such a, such a, it was such a party, it was real fun. He's such a liar that no one trusts him. We use such a before the adjective and countable, singular countable noun. So, you are so stubborn. Why do you drive so slowly? He drives so slowly that it's dangerous. So, we use so before adjective only or adverb. So stubborn. Stubborn, it's an adjective. Why do you drive so slowly? Slowly is an adverb. What films have you seen recently? I have seen Shrek. It's such a good film. Such a. We use such a before adjective and singular countable noun. It's such a good film. It's so funny. Funny here, adjective only. Again, after such, after such a, adjective plus singular countable noun. But after so, adjective only. It's time for practice. We write the following sentences using the words in brackets. He is such a fat man. You saw. When we use so, we need the adjective only. We don't need any noun. The man is so fat. Fat here, adjective. After so, we use adjective only. Sentence number two. This is such an interesting film. This is an... So this is such an interesting film. Use so. After so, we need adjective only. The film is so interesting. Interesting? This is the adjective. Number three, this robe is so long. Use such. 
we need after after such we need adjective and noun it is such a long rope such a long rope we use the a because rope is singular countable noun number four the house is so old We use such. It is such an old house. It is such an old house. Here, we use an before the vowel sound. Oh, old. And house here is a noun. It is such an old house. Old is an adjective beginning with a vowel sound. And house is a singular countable noun. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. Goodbye.